Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we are going to pull our dry van and we're going to pick up a load just south of Marshalltown and take it up to Cedar Falls to standard distribution. So stay tuned for some trucking. All right, let's, let's see if we can get this in here. We're a little crooked right now. We're going we're gonna to try to change that. This place is a little hard to see uh, exactly where square is. Now I'm going to cut it back and see if I can... That might be it. Let's see what happens. Easing back in here. I don't, it's downhill, so I don't want to. I think we're in there. Let's go check. This side is good. That should work. That should work. That should do the trick. I'm gonna pop inside, I think. Make sure they have my uh, my number, and we're all good to go there. And uh, let's see if we can get loaded. Well, this is what we're doing this morning. Um, drive in. I think I warned you guys, if you watched my short yesterday, we didn't get a load yesterday. Um, Menards didn't have anything going on, and I didn't find any loads. Uh, yesterday late morning, though, um, someone I worked with a lot last year called me and asked if I could do this one. And, uh, of course, I said yes, because um, real cars coming tonight. tonight. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday the 20th of February. Um, real cars come in Tuesday nights if they come in. So, um, I might have loads tomorrow, but I wasn't going to have loads today, so I just went ahead and booked that yesterday for today, um, hoping that I could find something short yesterday to do, and I never did. So, that's why I polished the rims. Uh, I didn't get all of them done. I did four of them. So, I, I touched up the front two, and then I did the front axle, front drive axle, um, I think they turned out pretty good. We should go take a look at them while they're loading us out here. But um, maybe do, we'll do that right now. I think it looks good. I need to uh, got a lot more polishing to do if I'm going to do that. Well, let's uh, let's go take a look. They got a little dust on them from this morning driving in, but. That right there. Verse. That's not done yet. This is just hand polishing too, guys. I didn't I don't have the tools. I did polish the front, touch them up. They weren't bad. I also did this side. You can see the dust in there, but man, that looks a lot better. We're just in this little t town called Dillon. It's not even a, not even incorporated. Um, technically a Marshall Town, Iowa address. There is a um, pavement all the way here, but I didn't take it because I live not too far from here. So I actually took gravel on purpose. I could have taken the pavement. I live like 15 minutes from here. But I chose not to. Which was sort of dumb. As soon as I turned on it, I was like, oh wait. Didn't I just polish my rims? Oh well. 
they'll blow off. Let's, uh, yeah. I don't have anything else to say then. It's uh, around 30 degrees. It's supposed to get up into the 50s today. Um, it's supposed to do that for the foreseeable future. We'll see what March holds. But let's get loaded. Okay, we're done. It's 8.15 right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. 8.17. Um... I can't go up there yet. There's no way they're going to let me in. No way. Make sure I got plenty of room to get gone. Use up the whole road because I don't like going in ditches. And I needed the whole road. We're going to get out of here on pavement this time. Probably going to go back to my house and air up a couple tires. I got a little bit a little bit low on one of my tires. A couple of them. Not a lot low. I, I would feel comfortable going all the way up there. But, I <laughs> there's no point in going all the way up there right now. And I need something to do. So that's what we're going to do. Don't take this road very often, even though I am not don't live too far from here. Um, the last time I took this road was the last time I picked up from here, which would have been like a year ago. I forget which truck I had, but it was a rental truck when I came in here. I don't... I think I was recording, but I'm not positive. It wasn't for the same broker. Definitely for a different broker. Um, this road comes out in T's on 30. And it uh, doesn't have a on-ramp. So I'm definitely turning right. Rather than left. But I'm not going to show that because, well, i got to do some shifting and stuff. And I'm holding the camera right now, so I don't have it set up. Sorry for the streaks on the windshield. That looks sort of dumb, doesn't it? That's what that happened after I washed the truck, and then it it was drying and it left shrieks. I'll probably clean those off when we get down to or get up to uh, standard distribution, because I'll probably have some time. Anyway, we'll catch you in a bit. on standard distribution. They're off to our right over here. Oh, joy. 
I have to get lots of room here. Mr. FedEx man is in my way. Okay, let's see how busy it is today. I'm here early, very early. It's 10.40 right now for my 12 o'clock appointment. Uh, so I have a, s s what's the word? A slinking, a stinking, I don't know. Oh wow, there's a lot less than I thought was gonna be here. A yeah, I have a feeling they're not gonna like that I'm here so early, but this is really open. Last time I was here, there was a lot more trailers. That's great. That gives me plenty of room to pull in and check in. We will just pull right over here. Easy peasy. Out of the way enough. And, uh, all right. I'm gonna go check in. We got checked in. Obviously, we're not still there. Um, 10.45 check-in. Took down my information. And uh, they're gonna call me when they're ready for me. So, uh, that's, that's exactly what I figured would happen. It's it's really playing out just like I figured. It's, it's standard distribution. They're sort of predictable in that way if you're around your appointment time. If you're not around your appointment time, who, all bets are off. Um, they let me check in, so that's perfect. Took my phone number, they'll call me. Um, they said they'll probably get me in, into a door around 11.30 when they get back from uh, lunch. So, that works. I knew what I was getting into when I signed up for this load. So I'm not whatsoever annoyed. I'm gonna go. Um, we're almost to Quick Star right now. I'm gonna top off my fuel because I want to. Well, you know what? Maybe I won't. I am gonna get some food. That's really why I'm here. Is to get some lunch, even though it's early. Um, by the time they get me in a door and get me unloaded it's going to be after lunch so i'd rather just snack on it while i'm sitting there so. all right we are ready to get into a dock i got door number 10 got a nice kenworth over here that pulled in i've talked to him before it's been a year since I was in here with him, but nice, nice, you can't even see it. I'll show you it later. Waiting for others to get out of the way here. Everybody wants to move at the same time. I don't really feel bad going in front of somebody though, because, well, I've been waiting longer than the rest of them have been here, so. It is what it is. What is this guy gonna do? You guys can't see anything, can you? That's all right. I'm going to get pointed at door number 10, I think. I think I am now. I'll find out in a second when I get straightened out.
You guys get to watch in real time as I struggle to get a dry van into its spot because this is not what I do. <laughs> Y'all know what I do. I don't do this. This isn't me at all. Should be able to get this in one more pull forward. Because I stink at this. I'm not really bothered though. I've watched so many people struggle in this yard that it don't bother me none. Not a bit. farther I just want to make it perfect because well I feel like making it perfect My guess is it it'll take them an hour to unload me after they get into my trailer which with him just getting here I doubt they're gonna get in my trailer yet so they're in his trailer um, he's in the Nutriblend door which means he was probably technically a 10 o'clock appointment um, that door number 12 that he's in, that's what that's for. Let me look at that truck. It's a pretty good looking truck, ain't it? I was going to say I could do that, but I don't I don't know that that's what a truck I would choose. I would choose um, the, uh, what they call it, the arrow flat top. That's what I would choose. Anyway, we're going to be here a few minutes. We'll catch you in a bit. Green light. Green means go. Let's stick some air to this trailer. Slowly. All right, now we're going to creep forward so we can get our door closed. Probably right about there's good. We'll call it good, whether or not it is or not. Oh, at least I got the door open there. Alright, right, let's get this door closed. Empty trailer. Smells funny. <laughs> Time I come, usual blend. The trailer smells terrible after. I don't know if any of you guys understand what I'm talking about, but it's it's a very pungent smell. All right, got our door closed. 
Now we're going to pop inside and get some paperwork. We are done. Got our paperwork signed. Got our paperwork sent in. We're good to go. Um, I've been looking for loads all morning to pick up after that load. But um, no cigar. That is okay. Um, if so, I <laughs> let's just get all the information out there. Uh, I texted Menards to see if they are going to have anything for tomorrow. tomorrow. They said that they're supposed to get four rail cars in tonight, which would give me enough something to do tomorrow. I would I would be able to run for them tomorrow. Um. So that's what I'm planning on. Otherwise, I would be looking. I would be booking something right now to pick up to deliver tomorrow. Um. Uh, but I'm not because, well, I have that hope that. That's my hope. A little, my gut says it's not going to work out, though. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's what my gut says. Uh, today is this week is going to be an interesting week. Wise, I think. Like I'm fine with missing. It's really not the end of the world, as long as I have adequate time to find another load. Um, booking a load the morning of and then going to get it severely limits my revenue. I need to be able to book the day before and if I'm gonna and pick up first thing in the morning. That's what I need to do. But, I don't know. We are just slow and can't, doesn't feel like I can get ahead. So, yeah. Such is life. Such is life. I think that things are going to pick up soon, but uh, I don't know. I think the reason why I think that is because the weather has been so nice. You would think that people are would start really get going building things, you know? Start moving things off the shelves at Menards. Order some stock, you know? I think, I, I feel like that should be happening soon, but as of late, it has not. Oh, at any rate, we're going to make it work. We're hoping we have our, our check at home when we get home, sitting in the mailbox. It usually comes on Mondays, but yesterday was President's Day, so that obviously did not happen. Oh, and I have to decide now which direction I want to go. Do I want to go back down through Hudson, or do I want to go... I think I want to go through Dyke and through Grundy Center. So that's what we're going to do. Probably put you on a time lapse and take you with me as I mosey on back to the house. Not gonna, not gonna be pushing it at all because I'm driving for free. But all right, let's get on back to the house.
for me, it's only 2.09, 2.10 o'clock. Two. I can't talk. 2 o'clock. 10 after 2. Is that? Yeah, there we go. Man, that was difficult. <laughs> uh, I haven't found anything that I can do. And I should be running for Menards tomorrow, but you guys already know all that. I already told you that a minute ago. So, that's it. I'm going to go find something to do. And we will see you tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. And we will see you on the next one.